In this tutorial, we will create a stroke text reveal animation inside of After Effects. Let's create a new composition 1920 by 1080 30 frames per second. Click OK. And select the type tool and type a text. I'm going to type a stroke because that's what we're going to create. Then hit S by selecting the layer and adjust the scale if you need that. And open the align tab and align new text in the center. Then right click the text layer, go to create and select create masks from text. And now select the actual text layer and press delete. We don't need it anymore. We've got a stroke outlines. So let's apply the stroke effect in effects and presets. Search for it. It'll be under generate. Apply this to the stroke outlines layer. Then go to effect controls. Check the box for all masks and then check the stroke sequentially. Then set brush hardness to 100 and spacing to 0. Paint style to transparent. Then make sure you are at the beginning of the composition and create a keyframe for start by clicking the stopwatch and make the value zero then go to say three seconds and set end to 100 percent then press u to see those keyframes on the timeline select them and right click any of them keyframe assistant easy easy you can press f9 as a shortcut that'll smoothen out the animation let's preview what we have and the main animation is ready let's now create a dot on our stroke Select the stroke outline layer, press Ctrl D to duplicate it. Then press U to see the keyframes on it. Go to the first one and click on the stopwatch for start. So create a keyframe at zero. Then go to the second keyframe and set start to 100%. Then press U again to see the start keyframes. Select them. Uh, right click keyframe assistant easy ease or again you can press F9 to do that. Then keep them selected and offset them by one frame forward. And we don't see any changes now, that's because we need to increase the brush size. Let's increase it and you can see the dot starting to appear at the beginning of the stroke. Let's set this brush size to 6. Let's now add glow to our dot. Go to effects and presets and search for glow. It'll be under stylize. Add glow to the second outlines. Then select the glow layer, press Ctrl D to duplicate it. The glow number 2, set glow radius to 20. And now our dot is glowing. Then select the top stroke outline layer and press Ctrl D to duplicate it. And for this one, select both glows and press delete. We don't need the glows on this one. Go to effects and presets, search for direction and blur. And add this to the top stroke outlines. Set direction to 90 degrees and blur length to 200. That will give our dot a nice streak of light on the sides. Then simply select the top stroke outlines layer and press Ctrl D to duplicate it. That will further intensify the streak of light for our dot. Now let's do a quick preview and the effect might get a bit heavy. So once you're happy with how it looks, we can go ahead and select all of the layers. Then right click and select pre-compose. Let's call this text and make sure removal attributes is selected. Click OK. Let's now create the floor reflection. So I've got this texture from pexels.com, it's completely free, I'll leave it in the project file so you can use this exact texture, but you can use your own if you want to. Bring it to the timeline, make it 3D by clicking on this button here. And press R for rotation, and set X rotation to minus 90 degrees, and drag on the Z axis to position the floor layer below the text. You might want to hit S for scale, and increase the scale so we can cover up the bottom part of the screen, so make sure to Position the floor like below the text layer and once you're happy with the position you can right click the floor texture or right click and pre-compose uh, let's call this floor make sure mobile attributes is selected then press ok after that you can hide the floor because we don't need to actually see it then select the text layer press ctrl d to duplicate it I suggest you rename the bottom one to reflection to distinguish between them then right click the reflection layer, transform, flip vertical, they'll flip it upside down. And then you can just drag on it and place it below the main text layer. Then hit S for scale, unleash uniform scaling, and set Y scale to minus 70% so we can squash down the reflection and give it a fake 3D perspective. Then also press T for opacity and drop the opacity to 70% so it we can create some contrast between the reflection and the actual text layer and you can further reposition it. And it is time for floor reflection. Let's right click new adjustment layer. Make sure to position the adjustment layer between the text and reflection layers. That's uh, important. Then go to effects and presets and search for compound blur. Add the compound blur to the adjustment layer. 
and set blur layer to uh, floor and then you'll be able to see the texture of your floor poking through and you can increase the maximum blur to see more texture or well you can invert the blur to get exactly the opposite you can play around with it I s I'll set mine to 50 that should give you a nice amount of texture in your reflection now let's preview once you're happy with how this looks you can select all of the layers right click recompose let's call this animation and then click ok let's give this a background uh, right click new solid let's call this bg and position it under the an animation layer and go to effects and presets and search for gradient ramp it'll be under generate add this to the bg layer then for the start ramp position select the top left corner and for the end of ramp position select the bottom right corner and here you're free to choose your own colors there's no right way to do this just try to go for something that matches your scene well after you've chosen the colors make sure to select ramp shape and set it to a radial ramp also set a wrap scatter to 200 percent to minimize the amount of color banding and here you guys have it a stroke text reveal animation inside of after effects with a 3d reflection of a floor if you guys found this tutorial useful and learned something new please give it a like i would really appreciate that and thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one